everybody, Kristen Lubanway here, and I've got a question for you. How much is your house worth? Really, it's the $64 million question right now. Everybody wants to know. If you were to sell your house today, how much would you get for it? How much money could you stuff in your pockets? Whether you bought your house last year or 10 years ago, you know the value has changed dramatically in the last year, and you're probably just really curious. How much is it worth? As much as I'd like to say pricing a home is a science, it's not. It's an art form. We're not talking about a commodity here. You cannot price homes like you might price pork bellies. It's not like you can just dial up Mr. Spock and say, computer, analyze the value of my home. It just doesn't work that way. The deal with property values is it's kind of an emotional thing. There's a lot of intangibles that go into it. You can go to a lot of online resources and try and find some semblance of information to help you answer the question. How reliable is it? Well, let's just take a look at a couple of examples. So I've got two properties that are getting ready to close in just a few days. So believe me, I know exactly what the market value of those properties is to the penny. The first house is a lovely home in South Gilbert. It's really, really awesome. It's like a model home, okay? In fact, it's too bad that it's already sold because you would love it. So let's just look at a few expert opinions of what that house is worth. First up, Zillow. $277,400 is what Zillow says it's worth. Let's try the Chase Home Estimator. If you're thinking about borrowing against your house, this is a way that they determine value with this li lovely little internet application. You can just plug in the address and it spits out a number. What number does it spit out for this house? Bing! $295,000. Oh, I like that number better, don't you? Let's go to the tax records. There's a quick comp that realtors can use lazy ones who don't do a real comparative analysis on their properties. And let's see what the tax records think this house is worth. Somewhere between two sixty-two dollars and $960,000. Probably averaging out around $392,000. Hmm. So there you go. There's a bunch of numbers all over the map. What did the house actually end up selling for? Well, we got an offer for $320,000. And it appraised for $320,000 back sell for $320,000. Case study number two is a nice little home down in the villages of Queen Creek. Now this is an area and has had a lot of distressed properties that have kept the values really low. This particular home though is not a distressed property, it is an equity sale. And when you look around there's not a lot of inventory down there so it's in high demand. What does Z Zillow say this house is worth? Bing. 131 $131,100. Okay. How about our Chase Home Estimator? What does that say? $114,000. Alrighty. What about the tax records? Come on, are you a little bit closer tax records? That range this time is $109,900 to $127,700. Averaging out about $118,800. What did it turn out to be? What was the market value of this property? Well, we got an offer for $165,000, $165, but we ran into a little problem. It didn't appraise. The appraisal value came in at $137. Ah! There is absolutely nothing available in that area for $137,000. Trust me on this. So the buyers agreed to come in at $155. So the house is in fact going to sell and subsequently be worth $155. $55,000. So, what's the moral of the story? Well, I think you can guess it. If you really want to know what your house is worth, if you really want to know what it can sell for, you need to talk to a real estate agent. Really, they're the only ones that can look at all the data that's available and give you a really good estimate of what the house is going to sell for. An experienced real estate agent can look at the data and also the intangibles, the real estate factors that are going to influence the market value. It's the saturation, what's the activity level, where's your house, what's the wow factor. Some of those things you can't plug into a computer. Sorry to be so obvious, but if you really want to know what your house is worth, don't call Mr. Spock. Give me a call or shoot me an email. You know where to find me, Kristen at HearingPhoenix.com. That's where I would love to clue you in on what your house is worth.